Hi guys, Hi guys. Welcome, welcome back, back to our back channel. channel. Welcome, welcome to Blue Room, Room Readings. Readings. So today, before we start the video, we just want to give our shout out to our amazing grandma who's given us a whole um, lot of amazing books. Thank you, Grandma Bushra, and um, we just wanted to let you guys know. Um, thank you. Um, we have two great grandmas. I mean, like, um, like they're great. Like they're yeah, they're, okay. they're good grandmas. Like really good grandmas. No, and they really take care of us. And I'm so happy for you guys. Wait, I'm so thanks for you guys. So thank, thank you, you. grandma. Okay, so we're gonna finish reading Great Leaders. Great. And we left off at Martin Luther King. See, that was Martin Luther King there. That's him. Martin Luther King. Okay. okay, so this one is... Rosemary Kupata. Rosemary Kupata. Really? Oh, okay. So Rosemary Kupata gave her people a voice. That's a different page, read it! No, a voice. Cause you gotta read that. Oh. Yeah. Rosemary grew up in a small village in Canada. When she was eight, she was taken from her home and sent to a school where she wasn't allowed to speak her own Inuit language. Come on, Miss Okay. Um, as an adult, Rose Mari? Rose Mary Mari 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 helped make television shows. Any mm -hmm. people from her country could finally watch sh shows in their own language. You got that right there. Read that. Read it! Oh! Okay. So Rose Mari helped teach people about the Inuit and type hard to help them hold on to their way of life. She was given medals, including the Order of Canada, for her important work. So here is her as there, and then here is her as a rare person. That's, what, show me. Oh. That's her getting taken away from her home when she was eight years old. No. Oh, never mind. Read! Dude, oh, Ellen Johnson. Ellen Johnson Sir Leaf. Sir Leaf became Africa's first woman president. Africa's first woman president. Okay. As a young girl, Ellen learned a speech to make at church. But when she got there, she forgot what to say. She decided she would never fail at public speaking again. When she grew up, she became president of Liberia and made many inspiring speeches. After 14 years of war, she helped rebuild the country and made it a, made it a safer place. Ellen Pro proved that women can lead and inspire. Oh yeah. my bad, my bad. <laughs> and Ellen proved that women can lead and inspire change. Inspire change. In 2011, which Justice was born, um, <laughs> she won the Nobel Peace Prize, a special award given to people who work hard for peace, for world peace. This is that's her. her. That's her, and then that's her too, right there. Jobs. Franklin quickly took charge. He made plans and created lots 
of jobs to make people's lives easier. Franklin led America during World War II. He often went on the radio and gave, gave messages of hope to help and comfort the American people when times were hard. So Franklin D. Roosevelt used his power to help. Roosevelt, like I said, Roosevelt, used his power to help this country. Okay, guys, he did. And this is what he looks like. That's Franklin D. Roosevelt. 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 And then this, this, um, and this is him when he was a major child. Okay. Now we're going to pass it on to Justice. We only got two more pages left, so that's it. Evelyn, Emmeline, pink. 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 It's an A. Pink. When she was young, Emmeline. Oh, you have to read that. Oh, Emmeline Pinkers fought the woman's rights. For, not the. Okay, go ahead. When she was young, Emmeline read the newspaper to her father. At breakfast time, she learned that women were not always treated the same as men. This is true. As she grew up, Emmeline continued to learn about women's rights. She became the leader of a British group ah! called out the suffragists. They wanted women to have the right to vote just like men. Emmeline worked at a newspaper called Vote for women. It gave women a voice without the actions of Emmeline. And the suffragists, the vote might never been had given to women. Have been. Ne never. Not been had. Nelson was the first person in his family to had to go to You have to scoot in go some. To go to Oh wait, Nelson Mandela became the greatest leader of South Africa. Nelson was the first person in his family to go to school. He had to brow his father's pants because he had no suitable clothes. As he grew up, he saw how unfair things were for black, black people. As an adult, he went to prison for standing up for his belief. The same rights as white Wait, people. For standing up for his belief that Be black, quiet. black people deserve the same rights as white people. When he was finally thing. released after 27 years, he was given a hero's welcome. Nelson went on to become the first black president of South Africa. He had been through difficult times, but his courage helped give other Black South Africans the same rights as South Africans. White South, South Africa. I'm sorry, but I didn't show this page. This is Pink hers. This is. You need to see that some. Okay, and then this is. Washington. Um, oh, that's Nelson, Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Sturdy break. <laughs> okay, guys, we finished the book. So please like and subscribe our channel and click. The notification button so we um whenever we make videos it will pop up right in your youtube screen okay guys bye and shout out to grandma bushra love you bye like and subscribe <laughs>